Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett. Um, we've been talking this week about how artists think about everyday life events and historical events fall into that category. A historical event that is something that has a lot of meaning for a community or a culture it can happen on the local level. So it could be something that happened in Buda or Kyle or Hayes County or the Austin area. It could happen on a statewide level, which would be the state of Texas or a national level. So artwork is so important for sharing ideas and letting other people know how we're feeling or how others are feeling or how things affect each other. So one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to brainstorm a historical event that you can create a picture of. So think about that. Are you gonna do something local, statewide, or national? Is it a recent event? Is it something that happened a long time ago? Use your researching skills and find something that really is interesting to you. Um, the next step, once you've picked an event, is you're going to decide on your paper, is it going to be a vertical composition or is it gonna be a horizontal composition? Um, I'm using an, eight, an 18 by 12 sheet of paper, but you use whatever paper that you have. We're going to make this picture a, a crayon resist. So what you're going to need to, for materials to create your image is either crayons or oil pastels. They'll both work great for this. And then a watercolor palette. So you remember the oil in the oil pastels and the wax and the crayons will repel the water that's in the watercolor. So it will not color the parts where we put th this media down on. So once you've done that, gather your materials, come back and we'll get started. All right, friends, before we begin on our big paper, I wanted to talk to you more about the um, one of the steps in the five step studio process. So what we're going to do here is we're going to plan and a way that artists plan without filling up a big paper is to do thumbnails. Thumbnails are just small versions of whatever project you're working on. As you can see, they're not very big. They're about two inches by three inches. And what you're going to do with these is you're going to brainstorm. So if you can't decide on an event or you're not sure how you want to draw an event, you could practice drawing very small and with not a lot of detail, the ideas that you have. So I'm going to do that really quick here and I'm going to time lapse myself so you can watch me work and then I'll tell you what I've been doing. All right, kids, I have my four thumbnails. I did the Battle of the Alamo. I did the first flight at Kenny Hawk. I did um, the national election, going to the voting poll, and I did Ellis Island with Lady Liberty. I think my favorite one here is gonna be this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this drawing and put it up here. Now, the things that I thought about when I was thumbnailing and planning, um, which way is the paper going to go? Is it going to go vertically or horizontally? Um, which local and state or national event are you going to show in your picture? What am I going to emphasize? So in this picture, I'm emphasizing the person at the boating box or the ballot. And, the, and then it's asymmetrically balanced because this side is not the same as this side. You want to make sure you're making an asymmetrical balanced composition, which is always the left is not the same as the right. Okay, you are going to then think about as we continue, what secondary and intermediate colors are you gonna use and what complementary colors are you gonna use? All right, now do a thumbnail real quick, make a plan and then let, I'll show you how to take this guy and make it a big version. Here we go. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take this pencil drawing and make it bigger. So I'm just going to enlarge. So watch me work and you can follow along. All 
All right, friends, here's my enlarged version of my thumbnail. I've just made that idea, have a little bit more details. Remember, the closer things are to us, the more details there are, the further the way, the smaller they get, and the less details that we see. And I think I captured that pretty good in my drawing. So the next step we're going to do now is we're going to either take your oil pastels or your crayons and we're going to start adding color to this. Now remember we're not coloring it in solid because we're going to come back in with our watercolors and uh, paint over this. So think about what secondary and intermediate colors you're going to use on this guy and where you're going to make the emphasis with color where it's really going to have the most importance and let's get started. All right, friends, here is my finished historical crayon resist drawing slash painting of a historical event. I focused on the recent election. Um, so I think it's really important that everyone goes and votes, no matter who you vote for. It's a right that we all have, and it's a very special right. So that's what I decided to make my picture on. I hope you have just as much fun creating your historical art uh, record, and I can't wait to see what you did. Bye, guys.